जहां तक रिश्तों का सवाल है दोस्तों लोगों का आधा वक्त अनजान लोगों को इंप्रेस करने में और अपने लोगों को अपनों को इग्नोर करने में जाता है इज इट ट्रू माई डियर फ्रेंड्स एंड टू बी सक्सेसफुल यू नीड फ्रेंड्स टू बी सक्सेसफुल यू नीड फ्रेंड्स ऑब्वियसली बट टू बी वेरी सक्सेसफुल यू नीड enemies now don't be surprised isn't that true to be successful you need friends to be very successful you need enemies because they are the ones who are going to motivate you inspire you they become the catalyst in changing your mindset your attitude and you work harder and grow to bigger successes right at jk institute of career education We touch the future. We teach. I'm Sushil Gadwani, your friend, and I'm here with a new story to share with you. This is the story of a man, a legend, who achieved success after a long, very long struggle, after a lot of heartbreaks, a lot of relationship failures. This man was an amazing artist. He was a genius. I'm talking about the singer, the actor, the producer, director, lyricist, Kishore Kumar. Now, why do I take him as a, a genius? There's a reason, right? Isn't it? I'm sure all of you have heard his songs. I'm sure all of you are also crazy about his songs. The way he sings, the way he performs, the way he performs his songs is something extraordinary. Isn't it? Kishore Kumar started his career in 1948 with a film called Ziddi. This was a Bombay Talkies production, and the hero of the film was Dev Anand. And Kemchan Prakash gave him the first song to sing as a playback singer. Before that, he struggled a great deal. He approached, he approached a lot of music directors to give him a break as a playback singer, but none of them would take him seriously. You know. he continued to struggle and remember one very important thing that we must all you know keep in our mind is that while he struggled to be a playback singer in hindi film industry his brother was a big superstar of that era of 40s and 50s of indian cinema 1940s and 1950s and he was also the owner of bombay talkies obviously you know who i am talking about i'm talking about Ash- ashok kumar ashok kumar in the 40s and 50s was what let's say ranbir kapoor is today you know ashok kumar was a big star he was the owner of a you know a studio called bombay talkies which was legendary by itself but despite all this his younger brother kishore kumar had to struggle to get work as a playback singer his only aspiration his only dream was to be a playback singer to be a singer and his idol was of course kl sagal and he 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 mimicked he sung in kl sagal's kunal lal sagal's voice and uh, he enthralled people by the way he sang like kl sagal but when sd burman heard kishore kumar singing in his bathroom like kl sagal he called him and asked him to sing a song again and when sd burman wanted to see him, meet ashok kumar in his house and that's when sd burman sd burman advised him to create his own style of of singing not uh, having you know kl sagal as a guru or as an idol was wonderful of course but he asked kishore kumar to create form his own individualistic style and that's exactly what kishore kumar did but from 1948 when he got his first uh, first break as a singer in, in the film called uh, ziddi bombay talkies production and devanand as a hero till 1969 21 years kishore kumar struggled you know to to be a big singer and very often he, he was dejected humiliated insulted you know thrown out of the studios there were some of the big music composers of that time you know the great know alls of music who rejected him saying well you are not a singer you never you're not trained into music you know just because kishore kumar was not trained into music he was not a singer 
Now, my dear friends, if you look at uh, the real world today, all the big tycoons, business tycoons and industrialists, they are not PhDs, they are not MBAs, they don't have the master's degrees in XYZ, but they are all big, big, big business tycoons. So it's like saying that just because Kishore Kumar was not into music, he, he wasn't a singer. See, Kishore Kumar's songs were popular even in that era in 50s and 60s. The songs that he sung for Devanan, sort of beautiful songs like Nakhre Wali and so many other songs. He's, he sung some of the beautiful songs of Padosan, you know. And But all those great music composers who rejected him and humiliated him saying that you are not a trained singer, you know, couldn't they have ever felt and seen and realized that this man had a great voice, the way he sung those songs, those amazing, you know, you know, style of singing, the yodeling, couldn't they have seen it? Or did they actually ignore him, deliberately ignore him? We don't know about this, but uh, it either shows that the music composers did not really know music, I dare say, I'm sorry, but the man was a great singer, nonetheless, whether somebody rejected him, humiliated him, threw him out, doesn't matter anymore. In 1969, when Shakti Samant was about to make a film called Aradhana, he signed a new hero, later on called as Rajesh Khanna, and S.D. Burman suggested Kishore Kumar's voice for Rajesh Khanna. And the rest is this, all of you know that Aradhana became an all-time blockbuster. It became a legendary film. It made Rajesh Khanna a superstar and Kishore Kumar a superstar playback singer. This film, Aradhana, was a craze all over the nation. It was, it was the popular anthem for the youngsters, the youth of the era at that time in uh, 70s, early 70s, 69, 70, 71, you know, till Rajesh Khanna, you know, the film ran and all the films came later on. My point is, Kishore Kumar finally got his success. After 21 years of, you know, absolutely, you know, heartbreaking struggle, Normally, somebody probably would have given up, you know, probably would have gone back to his hometown or wherever. But Kishore Kumar stayed on, just stayed on. He loved, he loved um, singing, he wanted to be a playback singer. So he continued singing for Devanand. He also, uh, you know, recorded songs for his own films. And I remember those films like, you know, New Delhi where he sang, sings, you know, Nakhre Wali and then Ina Meena Dika and all those beautiful songs and all those Devanand songs. He did sing great songs that even in the 50s and 60s. But Aradha made him a superstar. What is more important, my dear friends, is that um, the emergency was imposed on in India in 75. And when all the so-called big stars fell on their knees to please the bosses, the, the political big bosses of that time, the, there were some men in film industry who refused to cow down or bow down to anything. One of them was Devanand, Kishore Kumar was the other one. Kishore Kumar refused to sing for the you know big bosses then and as a result, as a consequence, his songs were banned from Akashwani, All India Radio and also from Doordarshan. Banned, absolutely. It was, it was a blackout for Kishore Kumar. But Kishore Kumar did not give up. He did not give in to them. He said, look, do whatever you want to. I'm not going to sing for anyone just because you want me to sing. Let me sing. Let me decide for my own self. I'm a free human being. I'm in a free country. And after almost one and a half year, the government realized then that banning Kishore Kumar was one of their biggest blunders. And then they lifted that ban on Kishore Kumar and he was brought back into Doodarshan and Akashwani with a great honor. He was asked to come back, he was requested to come back. So this was something that I have I've always admired about Kishore Kumar. Not many people know about this, but you know, to fight emergency, you know, that was a terrible era at that time. You know, any, anybody could be arrested for whatever reason or no reason at all. And he was a guy called Kishore Kumar who aspired to be a filmmaker. His dream was to be a playback singer. You know, he just wanted to be a singer, a playback singer. And now he had made it. He, he was a superstar singer. And then he refuses to sing for some, some function. Uh, and um, his band, he doesn't give in. He forgets all his ambitions and he says, I'm not going to give in. I, I'm a free soul. No, so nobody can impose things on me. So that is something highly, it needs great guts, great courage to face up to big bosses of that era, you know. That's why I like Kishore Kumar a great, great deal, you know. 
and then of course he made some of those finest films uh, you know apart from being a comedian he made those lovely films called chalti ka naam gaadi padosan was an amazing film where he played a role of the character of guru or the film called half ticket which is which is what i think everybody must watch that film whoever you are whatever you are whatever your age is if you have not seen this from this black and white classic with you know with ishor kumar and madhubala the genius of an actor you must watch this film to see what a great actor he was and i don't think anybody can match up to his acting skills although he was a reluctant actor that's about you see the point is he made um, you know wonderful films like dur gagan ki chaon mein dur karahi he made serious films and he was he was a good filmmaker very sensitive filmmaker and on, on a personal front he had a lot of heartbreaks you know i mean we you know that's why you know they say kabhi kisi ko mukammal jahan nahi milta kabhi kisi ko mukammal jahan nahi milta kahin zameen kahin aasman nahi milta ye kya azab hai ki ye kya azab hai ये सब अपने आप में गुम है जुबा मिली है पर हम जुबा नहीं मिलता यू नो किशोर कुमार की जिंदगी जिंदगी में भी यही कुछ हुआ कि ही हैड अ ग्रेट लाइफ आई मीन ही डिड स्ट्रगल फॉर ट्वेंटी वन ईयर्स बट ही स्टेड ऑन टू बी प्ले बैक सिंगर बट वेन इट कम केम टू हेज लव लाइफ ही हैड थ्री हार्ट ब्रेक्स ही आई मीन हिज फर्स्ट मैरिज फेल्ड द सेकेंड मैरिज फेल्ड द थर्ड मैरिज फेल्ड एंड फाइनली ही मैरिड लेडी कॉल लीना चंदावर कर एंड ही हैड अ वेरी हैप्पी हैप्पीली मैरिड लाइफ और वट वी कॉल्ड अ वेरी हैप्पी मैरिड लाइफ यू नो टिल ही लिव टिल नाइनटीन एटी सेवन थर्टीन अक्टूबर वेन ही डाइड ऑल ऑफ सन एट एज ऑफ वेरी यंग एज ऑफ फिफ्टी सेवन यू डू रियलाइज दैट सक्सेस इज योर्स इफ यू स्टे ऑन the root of success if you stay on with your dream if you pursue your dream if you're persistent with your dream if you're consistent with your thinking you are definitely going to get success that's what that's what kishor kumar's life teaches you i find kishor kumar as an extraordinary personality because it was not, not about acting or film or whatever it was as a human being that this man turned out to be a genius a unique person an extraordinary personality therefore this this man will stay on forever through his songs his great songs and um so kishor kumar will stay what he is his yodeling his amazing singing his fun and comedy and serious songs that will stay on uh, you know so the spirit here is never say die never give up at jk institute of career education we do plan to do a lot of things and share a lot of stories with you till then sushil gadwani says bye bye